Missy. Today I have a very exciting Christmas DIY that I did and I think they turned out adorable. They are Christmas shadow boxes that you can either hang on a wall or display on a table. I think one is going to go on my mantle and another one might go like on my coffee bar or something like that. But they turned out adorable and I just want to share with you the steps and how I did it and you can do these in so many ways. As I was doing these, I was like, man, I should go buy like four more because I can do this one this way and this one because as you're doing it, like all these new ideas came along with it. There's so many things that you can do with shadow boxes. But I made two and I think they turned out really cute and I cannot wait to add them to my Christmas decor because I really think it's going to bring a nice warmth to my home because I love to mix my Christmas decorations with decorations that I buy and DIYs that I do because I really think it brings a nice balance to my home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and simply you're just subscribing so that you know when I upload new videos because let me tell you you. I have a lot of Christmas videos, DIYs, vlogs, cooking. I have so much stuff. So if you guys are interested and you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a couple comments down below. Tell me what you guys would do. Or if you've ever made shadow boxes, maybe some of the ideas that you guys did. I love to chit chat with you all. I love to hear your input and stuff like that. So anyways, I'll quit rambling at you and we'll get into the video. I got my shadow boxes on sale from Kmart. I got two in a pack, so that was a really good deal. And these are just some of the supplies that I'll be using to make my shadow boxes, like these poster letters and jingle bells, stickers, scrapbook paper, and even this cute little scrapbook kit that came with like transparent sayings. Except for those, everything else I use I got from the Dollar Tree. So this actually was a very cheap and inexpensive project, and it turned out really cute, and I'm super happy with it. I didn't care for the black frame, so I spray painted them white because I feel like that's more of a Christmassy color and I used the picture that came in the shadow box as like my template to cut out my scrapbook paper so that I knew it'd be a perfect fit and I did that for both pieces of paper I have like a snowy theme going on and like a candy land theme going on <laughs> <laughs> so they turned out perfect and then for my snowy theme I just took one of those transparent sayings and I'm going to tape it to the scrapbook paper and I'm using clear tape so that it doesn't show through in the box which worked out great and then I'm just going to take these snowflakes that I got from the Dollar Tree and stick them in and in the background of that paper is some green trees so I thought some of these green bells would kind of like pop it so I added some of those as well I put on the back and then I'm going to decorate the front with some stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. Before I attach them though, I always cut them out with the backing on and just kind of place them around just to see where I want them before I actually like stick them on there and they're permanent. And I feel that that works so good because then I know for sure that's where I want them. And then just to finish the frame off, I took another one of those big snowflakes and hot glued it to the frame. And this is the finished project. And I think it looks like a winter wonderland. So I am really happy with it. And for the second frame, which is more of like a candy lane feel for me it's like red and white I'm using these glue dots to stick those poster um, letters to the glass and I have to tell you guys these glue dots from the Dollar Tree are fantastic they did the job they held well and I went back and bought three more bags I love them so I'm just spelling out fella la here and inside I'm going to take red and green bells and put them in the front and of course I'm going to decorate this frame with stickers too and what Voila, here is the finished products. I think they turned out so cute, guys. This was so inexpensive, so fun, and such a quick project. And I think it's going to add some warmth and some sparkle and some glitter to my home decor for Christmas. And I'm just loving them. I hope you guys, like, make your own. And if you do, tweet me some pics. I'm going to go now. You guys have a great day. And I'll chat at you another day. Bye, guys. Oh,